Here on It's All Good Radio Show, we love a good pizza. And we recently, well, well I say recently, uh, a few months ago, we discovered how to cook the perfect pizza at home. And we've, um, we've been doing it ever since, almost um, probably once a week. We, we have a, a homemade pizza and I can tell you, they are delicious. So today I am going to show you how we make our organic vegetarian pizzas. First of all, we start with, uh, with the flour. So we're, we're using uh, strong, plain organic flour and it's 200 grams, which makes, it's enough for two people. So basically 100 grams per person. We then need uh, a teaspoon of salt. We're using um, Himalayan, Himalayan pink salt, which uh, it's apparently is really, really good for you because it's got uh, lots of uh, very natural minerals that haven't been eroded over time. So they're really, really good for you, available in most good health shops and um, believe it or not, TK Maxx. So a teaspoon. And then uh, one and a half teaspoons of normal yeast. Uh, you can buy them in sachets in any supermarket. Hundred and fifty milliliters of lukewarm water and just pour it straight on straight onto the mix. And then you literally mix. Once it uh, becomes into a bowl and all the flour and the yeast is incorporated, then you put it into a greased bowl and leave to prove for about 40 minutes. Whilst the dough proves, then we'll make the tomato sauce. And we will need uh, usually a tin or one of these cartons of uh, organic uh, Italian chopped tomatoes, one clove of organic garlic, some dried herbs, in this case we've got herbs of Provence, but you can use oregano, Italian herbs, any herbs that takes your fancy. We add a glug of olive oil to a hot uh, pan, sauce, uh, frying pan. The garlic. Tomatoes. Some herbs. So literally a pinch pinch of herbs. We just cook that for a little bit. Uh, we add some uh, salt, a couple of squeezes, some pepper, and we just stir. You cook for about um, five or ten minutes until the sauce is quite thick and then put it to one side. Now it's time to uh, chop your vegetables. You can have any vegetable you like. We've chosen a red pepper and some organic mushrooms, which we're gonna chop.
now it's time to uh, roll and well knead your pizza um, dough. So get a, a rolling board. And just knead and knead. After about uh, 10 or 15 minutes of kneading, you should end up with a nice flexible dough. And then we um, roll it into, into a little, uh, like a baguette, I suppose. Um, and with a knife, cut it in half. Don't worry too much about uh, the um, the size. They're roughly the same. Then make into a ball. Pat it down. Make sure the board is nice and floury. And then with a rolling pin, just roll it out. Don't worry too much about uh, about it being round. Uh, it will get its own shape as you roll it. Once they're um, rolled out, then. Um, you need a very hot oven, so I've got mine in maximum or maximum, which is about uh, 250 degrees, uh, and you preheat some um, uh, pizza uh, um, tins. And then carefully place your base on here. And we bake for uh, approximately two minutes, no more than two minutes. After two minutes, we take the bases out. And we start putting them together. Now we uh, go for the mozzarella. Uh, we use one uh, ball of mozzarella per pizza and we literally just tear it off and scatter it around the base. And then finally we put our vegetables and, and uh, like I said before, it's your choice. You can choose any vegetables you like. Uh, in this particular case, we're using mushrooms and red peppers. And then we uh, bake them in the oven. for another two minutes and then we'll put the eggs on and we'll do the final the final baking. After a couple of minutes go back in the oven and get the pizzas and we're ready to uh, crack out the eggs. Now we, uh, it's important to season at this point. So there's a bit of salt, 
some pepper. And the all important herbs. So, just a sprinkling of dried herbs. And then put him back in the oven. For about three to four minutes or until the eggs are set. The eggs uh, should be set by now. Give them a bit of a wibble. And yeah, they look pretty set to me. Carefully just slide the pizza onto the plate and then for that extra touch which always goes down really well a bit of organic spinach and just scatter some leaves on top Again, some spinach to finish it off with. There you have it. Homemade organic vegetarian pizza in a relatively short time. Now you need uh, the obligatory glass of wine. And enjoy your pizza. Until next time, bye bye.